This morning I went walking with my baby and dog. We headed west on the trail with the sun at our backs. It was really cold when we started. I wondered why I had no gloves for me or baby Graham. I started to warm up as I continued to walk. My back felt hot with the sun beating on me. But the baby was fussing, so I turned around. After just a few minutes of walking towards the sun, the baby fell asleep in the warmth of its rays. Light from the sun travels to earth as electromagnetic waves. The radiant energy warmed up us up as we walked on the path. Radiant energy comes in many frequencies which are represented in the electromagnetic spectrum. Radiant energy can impart heat, light, and extremely powerful energy. We will learn much more about these different types of energy. So the next time you go for a walk on a cold morning, plan your route accordingly. Walk towards the sun. My dog Gina is a good example of conduction. Her fur heats up from the radiant energy. When I touch her fur, it feels warm. Her coat has more thermal energy than my hand. The heat from her coat necessarily travels into my hand because of the second law of thermodynamics, which states heat never spontaneously flows from a lower temperature substance to a higher temperature substance. In other words, thermal energy always travels from hot to cold if no work is applied to the system. Conduction occurs between solids and requires physical contact. When objects are touching, their moving electrons interact with each other, resulting in thermal energy transfer. Convection involves thermal energy transfer between fluids. Both gases and liquids are fluids because their particles have lots of molecular kinetic energy. Liquid molecules are relatively small compared to solid molecules, which can bond into repeating patterns Chemical bonds are potential energy that is released when the bonds are broken. In liquids, some potential energy exists in bonds, but the rest are, of the energy is kinetic. In gases, almost all the energy exists as kinetic energy, and as a result, the molecules are relatively small. Many gases exist as tiatomic molecules. The cattails, although solid in their own constitution, dance in the wind to illustrate the fluid mov movement of gases.